everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna make Korean dumpling hot pot. So if you guys wanna know how to make this, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. You guys can use whatever veggies of choice that you want to use. I just chose to use the ones that my kids are most likely to eat. So whatever it is that you'd like, go for it. What I am about to show you guys is completely optional. This is just me being a little bit extra and a bit ridiculous for you. <laughs> I'm using the carrots for color because a lot of the veggies that I chose are just white and green. So the carrots just add a pop of color and then I'm going to make little, my, my daughter called them ninja stars, but it's just a shape. It's just something I added in there just to, it's for the presentation basically. That's all it is. So you just cut out little triangles and then you get yourself a little, I thought it was a flower, she said ninja star. <laughs> Oops, there you go. And I'm going to do five of these. I'm not going to show you guys all five of me doing this, but I will show you guys a couple of more, and that's it. And to make it as even as possible, all you have to do is just try to cut exactly opposite from each other. Clearly, you can see I'm not that great at this, but I mean, it still works out in the picture, so you guys will see. I did add cabbage to mine. I'm only using a small amount of it just because they're not going to eat a lot of it, and I know it, so just a little bit is fine. Again, use whatever it is that you'd like to use. You don't have to use exactly what it is that I'm using, but I just chose to use these veggies. I'm adding a bundle of green onions just cut into thirds. Just trim off the edge of it, and then just cut them into thirds. These are like really skinny green onions, so that's all there is to that. And then I'm going to use two crowns of broccoli. And I am not going to cut them up yet. I'm going to let it steam all together just because it looks nicer that way. Now we are tofu fanatics over here. We love our tofu. So I am using the entire, whole entire package. And I'm not going to cut them into big chunks. I'm actually going to cut them into smaller pieces because my kids will fight over this tofu. So <laughs> I cut them into smaller pieces as you guys can see. And all I'm trying to do is just try to cut them as equally as possible don't judge me okay I didn't have a ruler I just kind of did it and went with it <laughs> but even enough once I cut it like this and I saw how large they were still I wanted to make sure they're a little bit smaller for my kids so I try to cut it right in the middle again don't judge me <laughs> love it so it's fine all right let's make our sauce now I am using a tablespoon of Splenda you guys can use sugar or you can use whatever sweetener it is that you like some use like a plum extract or corn syrup but I am using sugar in mine or Splenda in mine as for the red pepper flakes use one to four tablespoons up to you I am using two tablespoons to keep it a little bit more on the milder side I did not add any like chilies or anything else because my kids are eating this I'm also adding a tablespoon of minced garlic this I would guess it's like four large garlics probably minced up I'm also using three tablespoons of tamari use soy sauce use your favorite brand it doesn't matter but this is what I am using and then all we're gonna do is combine all of our ingredients together and just mix it up really well you just want to stir this up until everything looks nice and wet so just keep stirring until you see that everything's been nicely dissolved well, not dissolved but you know wet everything looks wet from the soy sauce So let's get this started here in our pot. I am using like a large wok type pot. If you guys follow me on Instagram, it's still watch me cook on, on Instagram as well. I had made this before I started YouTube. And I used a shallow pot that was probably not as big as this one. So everything was really nicely crammed and packed in that one. And although it looked good in the pictures because I wasn't cooking with it, you just need the larger pot to make sure everything fits and that you can put a lid on top of it to cover it up. So again, just assemble your veggies any way it is that you'd like it. It doesn't matter. Use whatever veggies, again, that you chose to use and however it is that you want to put it in there. If you can't tell, I am trying to 
put opposite colors on each side, I guess. Can you tell? Yes. And again, like I said, most of my veggies are green and white, obviously, which is why I use carrots for my pop-up color. Now for the dumplings, add as much as you'd like. Use your favorite brand, your favorite kind, whatever it is, whatever it is you call it, dumplings, pot stickers, egg rolls, mandu, whatever it is, just throw it all in there. Um, I think mine was about 16 of the small ones and I used eight of the larger ones. You don't even have to use the different shapes. It's just all for presentation here, so it doesn't even matter. But just stuff as much as you possibly can inside of your pot and that's it. This dinner literally took me 15 minutes and I just happened to be able to edit it down for you guys, but that's all it takes. It is so fast. It's a really good, easy dinner and everybody loves it. As for your sauce mix, go ahead and get your sauce and then combine it with five cups of chicken stock. You can use water, but um, I would say it wouldn't be as flavorful, but use chicken stock, beef stock, veggie stock, whatever it is that you'd like, and then throw your pop of color right on top take a look at that see once you start cooking this all of the veggies will release the moisture and you're gonna have much more broth inside of your pot and you'll be able to see that as it starts cooking we are going to cover this up with our lid and then bring it up to a boil and cook this for 10 minutes with the rolling boil after the 10 minutes is up go ahead and just grab a ladle and then ladle the broth all around make sure everything's nicely cooked you want to make sure your uh, dumplings are also cooked inside because mine were frozen if you couldn't tell they were completely frozen and you want to make sure that's cooked all the way through not that it's not cooked that it's heated all the way through after the 10 minutes let it cook for another good five minutes just let it simmer to make sure everything's cooked with the lid on top of it and when that's done go ahead and empty it out if you're not cooking it right on the table I don't like to do that in front of my kids but with the broth that's left, you can use udon noodles or you can use a pack of ramen noodles. And all I'm going to do is just cook it in whatever broth is left in there. If you guys need more broth, just add a cup of water into this if you need to. But I feel like this makes the meal complete when you add a pack of noodles somewhere in there. That or just throw it over some rice and that'll be even just as delicious. I cannot talk today, you guys. I've tried this so many times. But cook the noodles to your preference. I like mine on a little bit of the al dente side. So whatever it is that you prefer, cover it up once it's all softened up and then let's plate it or bowl it. Place however many dumplings and all your veggies in there with your noodles on the side and that is it. If you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button, like it, share it. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.